Hey guys, uh, Matt at Narrowland with our new Webflow tutorial for the month. Uh, so we've had some questions. How do we create this gentle uh, fade out effect that you see here in our intro section where the cloud just kind of slowly goes to white and uh, disappears. So that's what we're going to uh, duplicate today. And uh, as usual, I have a minimal, simple way to do it where we'll just use uh, some gradients with varying opacity. And let's give this its own identity for the tutorial. So we'll use a mountain in the background instead of um, a cloud. <clears throat> so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a section and we'll call it full. And as you see here, I've already set it up just to move things along. So we'll have a zero uh, percent margin and 5% padding on the inside just because that's how I like to keep all my content aligned. Uh, you can use different heights, uh, but so that we get kind of a dramatic effect here, let's go with 80 uh, view height. And we are pretty much uh, almost there at that point, if you can believe it. So let's go on down to our backgrounds and we want to click image and gradient. Uh, the first thing we want to do is add our image. So let's drop this transparent mountain that I've prepared in here. Okay. And we want to put it at the bottom. Uh, we want to turn off tiling and let's cover. Looking good. Okay. One step left. So uh, from there, we're going to add a uh, gradient overlay. Uh, we don't want black, so let's go with white. Okay, and I like to uh, put that at about 60%. All right, well, let's go with 50 for today. Show a little bit more. Okay. Uh, and I put this around 25%, you know, sometimes it's 23, sometimes it's uh, uh, 20, but let's go with 25%, nice round number. And the only thing we are doing after that is we want to make sure that we have white here. And I put white at 90%. That's it, guys. And as you scroll up, oh, that is not it. Good thing we checked. Uh, we want to fix the mountain in the background. I apologize. But now I promise it's going to look excellent. There it goes, fade to white. So, uh, you know, no custom CSS is added, no script, nothing that's gonna really bog your page down. Uh, a lot of people I see try to do this actually with interactions and that's not needed either. So just a simple scroll and, and the right opacity um, will do the trick. Translates over to mobile uh, pretty well. So those numbers do tend to still work just fine, but you may wanna tweak them a little bit, just depending on, um, you know, how you want everything to look. Like mobile, typically I will actually make the section a little bit smaller. So that mountain is just more dramatic and kind of runs across the bottom there. So we could do something like that. Um, you know, maybe 70 looks a little bit better. That's nice. But um, I'll let you play with that. And uh, you now have the tools to create a very simple uh, yet beautiful uh, fade effect on your intro section or any section for that matter where you're looking to uh, replicate, you know, what you see here. And you can uh, just, for example, drop content over it. So we have container and uh, let's go back to our section. And uh, just for the sake of this example, we'll say 20 uh, DH padding. And there you go. You could drop uh, text in there, for example. I guess my should be capitalized, right? There we go. So as always, Hope this uh, helps. Hope that you found this uh, to be simple and effective and hope that it enhances your next project. Thanks, guys.